starring amongst others Tom Cruise, Sarah Wright, Dom Hall Gleason, Jamie Mays, and Jesse Plemons. Directed by Doug Lyman, off of a script by Gary Spinelli. This is my review for American Made. Based on a true story, American Made stars Tom Cruise as Barry Seal, a uh, pilot who finds himself caught up with the CIA and the drug cartel, including such familiar faces such as Pablo Escobar. Um, he proceeds to make a lot of money through this before inevitably it all comes crumbling down. Uh, when it comes to movies, I'm a big Tom Cruise fan. Like As an actor, I think this guy is great and I think he can even lift some of the more mediocre movies, but there are even parts of The Mummy, sort of the new Mummy that I enjoyed because of him. Like he was one of the few good things in it, the very few good things in it. So whenever he has a new film come out, it's always one that I'm really excited to see. Um, in this case, I was more excited because he's just playing a regular guy again. He's not caught up in something Mission Impossible style. He's not in a science fiction movie. He's not some super cool, awesome fighter guy. He's just a regular guy in extraordinary circumstances. And it was quite refreshing to see Cruz in a role where he is just a regular Joe. Uh, this movie is a ton of fun. Like it is. It never takes itself too seriously. Like it always has this breezy, fast paced air blowing throughout it. And it made it a refreshing sort of film to watch. I think Tom Cruise is perfectly cast as Barry Seal. Like he does an amazing job here. He's able to convey the fact that this guy is in way over his head. Um, he also allows you to empathise with him a little bit while seeing his vulnerability, while also coming across as a really cocky character. Uh, the supporting cast are also great fun. Uh, Sarah Wright, as his wife Lucy Steele, has some great one-liners in this, and she's the person on the receiving end of everything that Tom Cruise is doing, who's basically just saying, what are you doing? Stop it. This is getting silly. While also, at the same time, kind of reveling in the amount of money that she's getting. The rest of the sporting cast do a great job too. Dom Hall Gleason's brilliant as Agent Schaefer. Uh, Jesse Plemons doesn't get a huge amount to do as Sheriff Downing, but he's still a welcome presence in the movie. And Jamie Mays does a great job as the high-profile person in town who's trying to bring down Barry Seal. Uh, if there's a weak person in the cast, then for me it has to be Cade Blanchard Jones as JB. Um, I'm not sure it's necessarily his fault. More, I think it's probably more the writing and the directing, but his character of JB is an irritant from the start. Like as soon as he appears on the screen, and thankfully it's not until at least halfway through the movie, but when he does appear, man, this guy got on my nerves a lot. Like he was almost a caricature, whereas this was grandiose circumstances, and while yes, based on a true story, certain things must have been played up a little, he just comes across as somebody who doesn't belong in this story. America Made, really fun movie, like there's great edits in this, like if somebody's talking we don't just focus on them talking, we have quick cuts, even if they're just pictures or images of things that are happening sort of connected to the story. Um, some of them are great fun and it really does build up that this is an energetic movie from start to finish. And while this is a movie that's not exactly high on action, there are some action scenes in there, but they never feel too overblown. If anything, they're just as fun as everything else going on around it. There's a sequence where Barry Seal has to take his plane off from a small runway, and it's not overdone, it's not overblown, uh, it's not even overrun, like it's all done pretty quickly, but it's an incredibly tense sequence and it's exciting. And the same two route crashes the plane into a suburban neighbourhood. Like it doesn't factor too much into the movie going forward, but it's a really well done sequence. American Made is also um, framed in a rather interesting way as well. The whole movie takes place from video recordings of Barry Steele um, after all this has happened, just recounting what went on. So he sort of, in a way, he doesn't narrate it, but he keeps popping up every now and then to kind of give updates on where you are with the story. Um, and I thought that was an interesting approach to take. I'm going to give American Made an 8 out of 10. It was going to get an 8.5, um, because sometimes we're going to do 0.5s. Sometimes I don't think... A 7, 8 or 9, I don't think there's enough to distinguish between them, so I think occasionally a point five is needed. Um, it didn't purely for the character of JB. Like, I may be one of the only people, like Mel who came with me didn't mention disliking this guy as much as I did, but for me he was a nuisance uh, and a distraction from the kind of movie you want to see, so he does bring it down a little bit. But still, an 8, it's respectable. Um, did you see American Made? If you did, what did you think? Let me know in the comments. Um, feel free to hit like, feel free to hit subscribe. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter, at Joe P. Julians or follow the NAC channel too, at NAC Podcasts. Uh, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.